Did you know that a one word difference in your title can literally be the difference between your video flopping or your video going viral? Or maybe you didn't know that if you're not using the correct settings on YouTube Shorts right now, it can actually prevent YouTube from being able to find the audience that they're looking for for your content. Well, don't worry. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how you could go viral on YouTube Shorts, whether you have a lot of subscribers right now or if it's your first post on YouTube Shorts. In fact, this creator was able to go from struggling to grow to getting 1.3 million subscribers in just a 30 day period by implementing these tips. And this creator was able to gain over 100,000 subscribers and get somewhere over 30 million views. By the end of this video, if you implement these tips, that same exact thing is going to be possible for you too if you make sure that you don't skip anything and you pay attention, special attention, to the last thing that I'm going to be sharing with you at the end of this video because it is by far the most important tip that I can tell you. It's the biggest thing that I see small channels skipping right now that's preventing them from going viral on YouTube. Tip number one is you need to actually be paying attention to specific analytics when it comes to YouTube Shorts. If you go into the YouTube Analytics tab and to YouTube Studio, you're going to see a bunch of different things that you could be tracking. You'll see click through you'll see average view duration, you'll see all these different metrics, but only three of them actually matter. And so many of you are focusing on the wrong metric. And if you're focusing on the wrong metric, it's going to be the same way as having the wrong destination in a map. You're not going to get to where you're actually trying to get to, which for a lot of you, since you clicked on this video, is going viral on YouTube Shorts. So there are only three metrics that you should actually be caring about. The first one is how many people are viewing your video versus swiping away. And you need to make sure that you're getting at least 80% of people to view your video. The second thing, the average view duration or the percentage that people actually end up spending when they're watching a piece of your content on YouTube. If your video is less than 30 seconds long, you need to be aiming for over 100%. If your video is greater than 30 seconds long, you need to be getting at least 85%. And there are three best links that you should be posting in right now that I'm going to share with you in just a second. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quick on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, go to the pinned comment below and get my free YouTube growth course. It's going to share with you things like the best best time to post right now and the best hashtags to use to go viral on YouTube shorts because those two things have recently changed and if you're not adapting to them, you could be putting yourself at a disadvantage. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Just go to the pinned comment below. Now the third analytic that you need to make sure that you're focused on is how big of a potential audience size there actually is for the post that you're making because one mistake that I see so many small channels make is they make the best video. The editing's amazing, everything's amazing, but the actual topic that they chose wasn't good and that's why their videos cap out at 1,000 views or their videos cap out at 3,000 views because no matter how good your video is, people aren't interested in that topic and YouTube doesn't abundantly know that people are interested in that topic, your video's gonna go nowhere. And if you don't know how to find out whether or not there's actually an audience for the piece of content you're gonna be creating, I'll share with you how to do that in just a few moments. But for right now, I need to make sure that you're doing three things differently. The majority of videos that go viral on YouTube have these three key things. One, they pose a question or they pose something that is the complete opposite of typical advice that you get in your field in the first three seconds of the video, and that is the hook of their video. It's either a question or it's them disputing something. For example, did you know that you don't have to do cardio to lose weight? Or did you know that you don't have to diet to lose weight? Or did you know you can eat pasta and still lose weight? Those are three typical things that if you're in the fitness industry, people think that they shouldn't do. So you starting a video telling them that they can do that, well, guess what? That's going to hook somebody in and that's going to grab their attention. Or you could simply ask them a question. And again, this goes for any niche. It goes for any topic, it goes for any type of content where you can essentially ask them a question that goes against their beliefs or the typical beliefs and that is going to capture somebody's attention, but we can't stop there. The second thing that the majority of videos that go viral on YouTube have in the first three seconds is text on the screen and they have captions. The far, far, far majority of videos have this. If you scroll through YouTube Shorts right now, I guarantee you that the majority of videos that you see that are going viral because they're on the Shorts feed, guess what they have? They have captions or they have text on the screen. And the third thing that the far majority of these videos have is either a voiceover or they have footage that is actually showing you something crazy in the first three seconds that makes you wonder what on earth is happening here. And if your video doesn't have two and ideally three of those things that I just shared with you, then you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage because every other video that's going viral on YouTube right now has those three things. So YouTube is going to continue to recommend those or your competitors might be adding those three things into their content. And again, that's one of the 
reasons that YouTube is pushing out their content and they're not pushing out your content. So if you want to get your videos pushed out, one, you need to be paying attention to the analytics that I share with you earlier in this video. Two, you need to make sure that your content has those key elements in it. And three, you need to make sure that you implement this last tip that I'm about to share with you. But I do want to warn you, it is easier to grow on YouTube right now than it ever has been before. It's easier to get subscribers. It's easier to get views, especially if you have a small channel because YouTube actually has a mandate to push out small channels and give them a chance to get more people coming to the app instead of people going to Instagram, X formerly known as Twitter. So guess what? They want to be able to push out your content so that they have you keep coming back to the app. So now is the time for you to start your YouTube channel, for you to take YouTube serious because it is easier to grow right now than ever before. Now, when it comes for you actually being able to determine whether or not there's an audience for that piece of content you're creating, what I want you to do is I want you to come up with the title that you were going to use. I want you to then take that title, search it on YouTube, go to shorts, make sure that you filter for the last 30 days, and guess what? If you don't see other videos that have gotten the amount of views that you wanna end up getting, it's probably a good sign that you shouldn't end up creating a piece of content like that, or that you need to be changing the words that you're putting in your titles. And remember, from the beginning of the video, just a one word difference in a title Title can drastically change the search results that you get or the way that you phrase that title and that is going to drastically impact the amount of views that you're getting and something that I strongly suggest that you begin implementing is two things first and foremost you need to be taking two to three stabs at every video topic if you find a topic and you know that it can get a lot of views and you do a video and it gets 3,000 views or maybe it flops that's a sign that you shouldn't just stop there there was something that you didn't do right maybe you didn't use the right length in your video or maybe you missed out on something else and those are are two things that you need to be exploring, but the easiest way for you to be able to actually expand on topics is when you have a topic that you know is good that you're going to go after, you take two to three stabs at it, and those two to three stabs should be stabs at a new title, and they should be stabs at a new intro, because the majority of the time, it's either your title or your intro that's actually stopping you from going viral on YouTube and stopping you from getting views. Now, if you want me to personally look at your account and you want to work together to coach about how you can grow quicker on YouTube shorts, in fact, I'll guarantee that I can help you grow on YouTube in the next three days or you get your money back. Zero question to ask by me telling you what to post. We'll critique your analytics together. I'll tell you what time to post, what hashtags use, and build you a personalized plan for your account. Well, then please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. And just as a reminder, this creator gained over a million subscribers in just 30 days by implementing this. And this creator gained over 100,000. So if you want results like that, please keep watching this video. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.